So Neville says, imagination is our redeemer. What does he mean by mm -hmm. that, Dan? It really kind of goes out on a limb there because, and especially in the religious or theologic sense, we think of Christ the Redeemer. We think of redemption as the relationship between your heart and the heart of God. We come to God as sinners, and there are all kinds of words that are thrown around like sin and redemption and faith and belief that have many, so many different definitions that there's really not a clear definition for it. But he talks about imagination as being the nature of Christ. When Christ comes into your heart and your life, the experience that you get is you have a higher level of understanding, a higher level of imagination. And he says that that's the time when the spirit of Christ comes into your life. It's the spirit of imagination, the spirit of that part of the nature of God, of imagination, he says, is redemption. Redemption is realizing that you have already achieved the goal that you desire. The life you really love is something that for most people is always out of reach. But remember that if you go back and read the times when Jesus performed miracles and healed people or they received something, any place in the Bible or any other religious text, you have to have faith and believe. Faith means you are able because you are a child of God, you are a child of infinite intelligence, and infinite intelligence is able. If you're a child of infinite intelligence, you are able. That's faith. I am able. And belief means that what you have asked for in your heart of hearts, the life you would love to be, the person you would love to become, belief means it's already been given to you. And many times it says you have to have faith and believe. When that happens, when you understand, when you know that you are able to get the object of your wishes, and you also understand that it's already been given to you, that's when the magic happens. That's when the miracles happen. That's when coincidences and synchronicities and energy starts to come together because you are desiring to have God attracted to you, and God is answering by moving toward you. Move nigh to God and God will move nigh to you. When you have your energy focused, knowing that you're able and it's been given to you, then infinite intelligence will move in your direction to cause to come into existence the thing that you desire. I love your definitions of faith and belief, Dan. It just clarifies things so much more when you use those definitions. Join Dan Matthews in his Awaken Imagination program. Click the link in the description to join now. In Dan's program, you will discover the power of your imagination and you will learn how to use it to create the life that you love. Dan Matthews' Awaken Imagination program will give you the answers that you're looking for. Don't wait to live the life that you've always wanted. If you don't have what you want now, you just don't understand. And once you understand, everything is going to change. Dan has the answers that you're looking for. Step forward and start living the life that you've always wanted. Join Dan Matthews in his Awakened Imagination program. Click the link in the description, join Dan's program, and get started now. Thanks for being with us today. My goal is to give you value with every lesson. If you would like us to notify you every time a new lesson is ready, click subscribe below. Then turn on notification. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thanks.